one for Christmases. For everyone to respect each other. I'm trying to watch more Christmas movies that I haven't seen before and I was watching one, I think it's called The Christmas Wish. I don't remember, but it's about a lady making a Christmas wish and a Christmas wish is a very, very powerful wish, apparently. And if that's the case, here's my Christmas wish. 2020 has taught us a lot of things, but it's definitely made it very clear that we have a long way to go when it comes to equality and mutual respect and discrimination. In my tattoo video, I showed you my equality sign tattoo and I said that it's a personal statement for me that I will never judge anyone based on where they're from or, you know, anything about them. And for 2021, I hope a lot more people take this on. Oh my god, I'm not trying to say that I am perfect. <laughs> not by any means. I just think it's important that we all take it upon ourselves for 2021 to really look at our own actions and look at our own unconscious biases in our heads, that we all make an effort to get to the bottom of the problem that discrimination is. I'm not happy about how it happened, but I'm glad that 2020 has opened a lot of eyes when it comes to how bad racism really is. And I'm not saying that people who don't experience racism can understand how bad it is or how it feels or anything, but at least a lot of us have learned about how bad it is and how much work is needed and that that work is needed from us as well. It's not up to black people to end racism. A few months ago, someone posted on Twitter that they were sat in a cafe in Norway and someone from a group of old people pointed at them and said there is a n-word sitting over there. Obviously loud enough for the person to hear it, so I guess everyone at the cafe heard it and it really alienated the person and ruined that person's day. And some people replied to this person and said, if you feel like it, you should walk over to them and explain why this isn't okay. I understand that people say this because I understand that they feel like these people should be confronted with what they said. But imagine if you're a minority and eight people sit over there and they make a racial comment. Do you really feel comfortable walking over to them and telling them off? The attitude that the people facing racism need to fix racism is wrong. I belong to a ethnic group that expresses a lot of racism, so of course I need to take part in the fight against racism. So whatever ethnic group you fall under or whether you're a victim of racism or not, I think absolutely everyone should make a conscious effort in the coming year and all coming years, forever, and we will be racist. I'm not trying to say by any means that the problem is solved, but it's really nice to see that at least for a while, it got so much attention, at least for a few weeks, or at least for a day for some people. I'm still mad at everyone who deleted their black square, by the way. I didn't let it go. <laughs> I probably never will, but yeah. That is my Christmas wish. I want racism to end. I wanted to make a video on charities to support for Christmas, but that involves a lot of research and I unfortunately didn't have time. But one thing that I want to shoot in, in this video, my friend Kadeem has started a project that focuses on that you can do whatever you want to do, no matter who you are. A few months ago, he posted a video called In Point in Public 2, where he performs ballet in different busy parts of London in which he's wearing a tutu. He's trying to just basically destroy gender stereotypes and what's expected from genders. He's trying to normalize people doing what they want to do regardless of their gender or regardless what's expected from their gender. So if you want to support that project, I'll put the link down below. It will be the first link in my description box. So if you want to support something, you can either donate to him or you can buy one of his photo books. He has a range of different ones. So please check that out. It's something that means a lot to me and it means a lot to him. So it would be great if you supported it. But that was it. I could talk about this for a really long time, but I'm going to go and I shall see you tomorrow with a new Vlogmas video. Keep it the good vibes. Bye.